ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Acting Secretary Wolf, I present to you five candidates for naturalization representing five countries. On behalf of everyone here today, I'd like to express my gratitude to you, Mr. President, for hosting this naturalization ceremony here at the White House. To our candidates, it is my honor to administer the oath of allegiance and welcome you as our fellow citizens. Candidates for naturalization, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I hereby declare. An oath, An oath that I absolutely and entirely, I absolutely and entirely renounce, and renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, to any foreign prince potentate, potentate, state or sovereignty, state or sovereignty of whom or which, of whom or which I have heretofore been I here to a subject or citizen, a subject or citizen, that I will support and defend, that I will support and defend the Constitution and laws, the Constitution and laws of the United States of America, of the United States of America, against all enemies, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith, that I will bear true faith, and allegiance to the same, and allegiance to the same. That I will bear arms. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States. On behalf of the United States. When required by law. When required by law. That I will perform. That I will perform non-combatant service. Non-combatant service in the armed forces of the U.S. In the armed forces of the U.S. When required by law. When required by law. That I will perform work. That I will perform work. Of national, of national importance, of national importance, under civilian direction, under civilian direction, when required by law, when required by law, and that I take this obligation freely, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation, without any mental reservation, or purpose of evasion, or purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations! You're now citizens of the United States. On behalf of the Department of Homeland Security, it is my honor to call you my fellow Americans. Mr. President, I want to again commend you for your dedication to the rule of law and for restoring integrity to our immigration system. Thank you for hosting such a patriotic celebration here at the White House today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. That's fantastic. It's really great. Thank you. And I want to thank Acting Secretary Wolf, doing a phenomenal job in so many ways. Today, America rejoices as we welcome five absolutely incredible new members into our great American family. You are now fellow citizens of the greatest nation on the face of God's earth. Congratulations. Great going. You followed the rules. You obeyed the laws. You learned your history, embraced our values, and proved yourselves to be men and women of the highest integrity. It's not so easy. You went through a lot, and we appreciate you being here with us today. You've earned the most prized, treasured, cherished, and priceless possession anywhere in the world. It's called American citizenship. There is no higher honor and no greater privilege and it's an honor for me to be your president. Thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to recognize the five new citizens who join us today. Robert Martin Ramirez Alcazar is from Bolivia and has been a lawful permanent resident of the United States since 2013. Robert. Hi, Robert. <laughs> he and his wife are raising three beautiful children. In 2017, Robert achieved the dream of starting his own business, a construction company that now employs five workers. Robert says, I love this country. I want to respect the law. America has helped me 
so much in life. Robert, thank you very much for your devotion. Thank you for the pure opportunities to the United States. Well, thank you, and good luck with that company. Soon you'll have hundreds of employees, I think, right? Could happen. Could happen. It will. Rima Gideon is from Lebanon and is the proud mother of three children. Rima speaks English, Arabic, and French, and earned a degree in psychology. In other words, she can figure me out. <laughs> she now works as a daycare teacher in Virginia. Rima says, I feel blessed to be a loyal citizen of the greatest country in the world a country that has given me the opportunity of a lifetime to realize my potential and my dreams. Rima, congratulations. It's so really great. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's all, that's very good. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Suda Sundari Narayan is a phenomenal success, born in India, came to the United States 13 years ago. Suda is a talented software developer, and she and her husband are raising two beautiful, wonderful children. The apples of your life, right? Yes, they are. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations. Fantastic job. Thank you. Name it. Abdel Zaim Awalo Said is from Sudan, and that's a beautiful name. <laughs> and has been a lawful permanent resident since 2012. She is the married mother of three beautiful children, earned a master's degree and PhD in animal nutrition from the University of Wyoming, great place, great state. And she is a trained veterinarian. She's also worked as a substitute teacher for the Alexandria Public School since 2004. That's fantastic. Well, Daivat, thank you very much and congratulations. It's my honor to be with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Salah Abdul Samad has been looking forward to this day since he arrived in the United States from Ghana in 2015. Salih speaks five languages and works the medical field. Salih says that the American citizenship means everything to me in my life. It cannot be measured or quantified. I have the chance to work hard and succeed in life. To know that I am in the safe country like America that really is something because I know they have my back. Sally, thank you very much. Congratulations. Fantastic job. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you. With the rights and freedoms each of you now enjoys as citizens, there is no dream beyond your wildest reach because Americans can do anything. Today you have also accepted the profound duties and responsibilities that come with American citizenship. By swearing the oath of allegiance, each of you has entered a sacred and unbreakable covenant with our nation. You have pledged your undying loyalty to the American people, the American Constitution, and the American way of life. The history and heritage of the United States are now yours to preserve and pass down to the next generation. Our culture, our traditions, and our values are now yours to uphold and live by. The right so dear to every American, granted by us and granted by God, and enshrined in our glorious Bill of Rights, are now yours to support, protect, and defend. As citizens, you're now stewards of this magnificent nation, a family comprised of every race, color, religion, and creed. United by the bonds of love, we are one people, sharing one home, saluting one great American flag. Congratulations again to all of you. May God bless you, and may God bless our great country, America. Thank you.